Well, thanks anyways, but that looks a little tiny for me. One thing that isn't tiny is the amount of plastic that gets thrown away. When was the last time you took a drink from a handy plastic bottle? Well, believe it or not, in the United States, we go through two and a half million of these little guys every hour. Plastic is very durable and comes in many different forms. So recycling it can take some serious sorting by both machines and people. Here at the Shredder, bales of plastic containers are stacked high, waiting to be sent through huge shredding machines that tear them apart into tiny pieces called Dirty Flake. We call this material dirty because at this point, it still contains bits of caps and labels and whatever gunk was left inside the containers before we shredded them. To clean the flake, a processing facility like this one sends it through a washing machine the size of a house. Then the flakes are dried and blown through air classifiers that help to separate out unwanted material based on their size and shape. The clean flake that we end up with can be melted down and turned back into something useful. Sometimes this involves extruding it into pellets that make it easier to work with. Depending on what we're making, the flake might be mixed with sawdust or other ingredients to change its properties or color. Melted plastic can be extruded and molded into whatever shape we want to create. This factory turns recycled plastic into lawn and garden supplies, like edging and fencing. It also makes sturdy plastic boards, finishing them with different colors, patterns, and textures that make them look like real wood. But unlike real wood, recycled plastic lumber will never rot or decay, making it great for building outdoor furniture. Watch as these skilled workers cut, mill, route, and drill, reshaping this material into beautiful new products. Looking around this showroom, it's hard to believe that all this awesome furniture started out as old milk cartons and detergent jugs. Taking something that could sit around in a landfill for centuries and turning it into something beautiful and useful instead is what recycling is all about. Which is why Demcon sends more than 2,300 tons of plastic off each year to be turned into something new. Recycled plastic can be used to make signs and playground equipment, even clothing. And that's what makes recycling plastic pretty fantastic.